Hey guys, uh, what if we wanted to rank uh, the rows of our data frame according to one of the columns? Uh, this is quite useful uh, and the idea here is we don't want to change the order of the rows but we wanted just to see the rank, you know, just see uh, the, the order as a, as a different column like if we were to um, uh, sort that data frame according to that order, uh, according to that column then what it will look like. That's straightforward using pandas. Let's have a look at our usual data frame. This example here, what if we wanted to have a look at the rank according to score 1? You know, according to score 1, which is the lowest, which is the second uh, uh, lowest, third lowest, and so on and so forth, right? Instead of just sorting the entire data frame according to that, we just wanted to see it. In pandas, um, in pandas series, we have the rank uh, method and we can have it ascending or uh, 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 descending if we take a look at the documentation then uh, it you know we can specify the axis because it's um, because it's a, a, a series then uh, it's uh, one dimensional the method is average so if two or more values you know are at the same place then um, how do we deal with that and then by default it's ascending whether we want it to be ascending or descending and so on and so forth so we can say ascending equals true oh by default it's ascending anyway if we, if we have a look at uh, the rank according to score 1 then uh, A is at rank 5.5 and F is 5.5 this is because you notice here A and F have the same value for score 1 is 44 that's why it's 5.5. This is where the you know the method average comes into place. The first one is G, and that's the lowest. The second one is E, that's the second lowest, 38, and so on and so forth. If we wanted it to be uh, descending, then we say false, and we get it the other way around. And what if we wanted to have that as a separate column into the data frame? Well, that's not difficult to do. As we saw before, I can say DF of maybe score, just, we just pass it, you know, uh, a column name for the new column score one rank run that and then have a look at the data frame this is what it now it looks like it have it has a new column called score one rank which has which have the you know which contains the ranking according to score one this is what I meant by just seeing the rank instead of you know doing doing the actual reordering okay how the idea makes sense Nice and easy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.